I love him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is our Savior. He is our God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Amen. Yes. You want to tell me something? Um, well, you want to read? Glory to God. Come to read for me then. Hallelujah. Mark 16. And I would like you to read. Uh, Glory to God, verse 15 to the verse 20. And I will give you a microphone like that you can make your voice known to everybody. Put your hands together for Shereen. Hallelujah. And he said unto them, Go ye on into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Amen. And these signs follow, shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received. He was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. 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 Praise God. Father, we want to thank you to glorify the name for this word. And we just ask you, Lord God, to inspire us through the word. Lord God, not on the inspiration, but anointing of God. We want to have something special today and we want to hear your word, that word that will produce the faith, that will produce miracles today in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. The very first thing that I read here, and glory to God, that you led us to read it was, go ye into the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth in him is baptized shall be saved, but he that believe not shall be damned. Literally, uh, first of all, uh, literally in, uh, in the uh, glory to God. My wife is showing me that there's too much music. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sorry for that. Glory to God. That one thing is that in the, the original translation it says not shall be damned, but it says it's already condemned or already damned, damnation, glory to God. One thing that we have to know that Jesus has commanded us to go and to preach the gospel to every creature. Now, who have to preach the gospel? Come on everybody, I know it's a new thing that we have there on the on the on the on the front there, glory to God. But I just want you to hear the word today, glory to God. And this is a task not only for the pastors, but this is a task for every single person in the congregation. Go and to preach the gospel to all the world. Hallelujah. To every creature. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whatever have breath, praise the Lord. Glory to God. And I don't know sometimes if you ever have trained yourself. Glory to God. I, you know, I remember when I was a young preacher and I was starting to try to listen myself when I was preaching and ministering. Pastor White, have you ever done so? Glory to God. And starting to preach and there is nobody there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And ever since that you would preach to everything which can move. Glory to God. You would see a dog nearby. You would start to preach to the dog. And, and you would be amazed that the draw of the dog will start to listen to you. And you, you would say, you know, maybe the dog is taking me for a crazy person. Glory to God. But no, 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 no. The dog, the dog is a living creature. It's a, it's a creature which is uh, breathing. And whatever has breath, praise the Lord. Come on, come on, somebody. Are you hearing me? Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible never said, go into the world and preach the gospel to every mankind. My, my, my. 
to every creature. I don't know if you know that the Bible says that the whole world is expecting the manifestations of the sons of God. <laughs> Do I have a witness here? I don't know if you know, but when you see the trees uh, the perishing because of the pollution and all that thing, we are just expecting something. The manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Glory to God. And sometimes it is good even for a Christian to go in the first side and to start to say, hey, uh, creature, your time has come. <laughs> Glory to God. You see, my bishop, you become crazy. Let me explain to you something. <laughs> Jesus was passing by a tree, um, and there was no fruits on the tree, and he preached to the tree, and when he preached the tree, because there was no fruits there, he cursed the tree. Is it not talking to the tree? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some people say, you know, bishop, you become crazy. You can talk to the birds, you can talk to the tree. Elijah was talking to the Raven who was giving him the food every day. Glory to God. Are you listening, somebody? Are you, are you with me? Yeah. The Bible said, Go to preach in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. I'm telling you, a tree can't be baptized. So therefore, can't be saved. Can't believe even. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It breathes, it prays God, but it doesn't have a living soul. Are you with me? Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Oh my Lord, hallelujah. Now I will start to shake a little bit your religiosity here because some people believe that it will follow the man of God. That's not what my Bible said. It doesn't follow only the preacher. The Bible said, them that believe. Glory to God. If you come here and I pray for you when I don't believe enough, you can believe for yourself and the sign will still follow you. That's what the Bible said. Glory to God. The sign shall follow them that believe. What kind of sign? What kind of sign? In my name they shall cast out devils. And there are so many devils that we have to cast out today. Glory to God. You know the year 2011 is a year of desperation. And it's a, it's a world, it's a world which is going into a deep sin. And in a, two, in a, two, in a deep pit. Glory to God. And we are here to preach the gospel. Are you here with me? And to cast out the demons. You know, there is a religiosity coming on that there are some demons. The demons are hitting, glory to God, the, the demons are hitting the, the people on the street, the demons are hitting our families, the demons are hitting our relationship, the demons are hitting uh, our finances, the demons are hitting our kids who are going to jail, who are going into drug, who are going into all those things. And the reason why is because we don't rebuke those spirits. We give an excuse to everything. Are you with me? Come on. When it's a baby who is naughty, we say, you know, it's because he's thieving. Two years old, we say, you know, he's a terrible tooth. Touching everything is just a terrible tooth. So we give a, a reason. Six years old, we say, you know, it's because he will enter the school very soon. And, you know, at, at that age, you know, they are in an age of transition. And we excuse them because of the age. At the age of 12, we say, you know, they are teens. They're not yet an adult. And they're not no more shall. Because the transformation of their bodies, they start to behave improperly. And we have to forgive them. The age of 15, they want to quit the house because they know better than the daddy and you. And I, I was the same, glory to God, when I was young. I knew better than my mom and my dad. They had made all their life, but I knew better. I knew better than my teacher. I knew better than everybody else, glory to God. No one could tell me. You know, when I sat down for the first time at the age of 18, 
behind the wheel of the car. That was my first car. I drove better than everyone else. No one could teach me. When I bought my first Porsche, no one could drive as well as I was driving. Even when I was out of the uh, out of the world, even when I crashed the car, was still the best because I crashed without to make no injuries to myself. My phone was best when I was twenty. I said, "I know, I know, I know, I know." Twenty-five, I knew better than anybody else. When my pastor started to teach me how to minister, I said, you know, pastor, I know. I've been in ministry for so long, but I knew better than him. We have a tendency as people to know always better than others. Come on, son. Come on, son. Glory to God. If you have never been behind a stool, behind a pot, you don't know how to cook. It's not because you have learned a recipe by reading it in a book that you are qualified to cook here because you didn't know exactly about the quality of the fire. Come on, somebody. Do I make sense here? Hallelujah. And my name they shall cast out devils. And there is some devil which has to be cast out. The devil of the poverty is a devil. You know, my friend, I want to tell you something. I do believe, I do believe that you will be rich. Do you understand that? God doesn't want us to be poor. God doesn't want you to be poor. He doesn't. Poverty is a spirit and you have to be cast out. Rebellion is a spirit, have to be cast out. On the street today, people are walking with weapons and, and the reason why they are doing so is just because some men of God didn't do their job properly. We should have cast out demons. I don't ask you to go the amount people and putting their hands on the on the head uh, and then stand, putting your hands on their heads and saying, you know, I cast out demons now. I don't ask you to do so. But I ask you to stand for righteousness. Jesus said, go and preach the gospel to all creatures. Hallelujah, glory to God. When can we praise the apostle Paul in due seasons and out of season? There is always a good time when you can preach. Hallelujah. To show how God is good. If you have a knowledge God in your life, you can stay as you are. You have to start to speak it. Come on, somebody. They shall take up serpent. You know, glory to God. I don't ask you to go to take serpents and, and to start to walk with serpents and snakes and glory to God. I know my daughter the other day, she went to school and at school they, they, they came with some snake and she had a snake around her or something like that. And, and she found it, she find it nice to take the snake and to touch the snake and glory to God. And, you know, I tell you something, there are some snakes and serpents, the words that those want to take up. Everything which crawled into your life is a serpent. Everything which makes you ramping into the dust is a serpent. God says to the serpent from today, you will crawl on your belly and you will eat the dust. Glory to God. If you are eating the dust and not eating the goods of the land, it means you have some serpent to cast out. Do I make some sense here? Hallelujah. We will be finishing soon. We will be finishing soon. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We finish at 7 o'clock here. We will have to cut the thing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I come close the word for business. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
If they will drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. This is one thing that we should always do. It's to